Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to add some descriptive text to a plot created in R. Quite often, one would like to enhance an existing plot by adding some descriptive text to the plot. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will add some text to the plots using the text and the mText commands. To access the help menu, you can type help and in brackets the name of the command you'd like help for, place a question mark in front of the command name, or you can type the command name over here in the help search window. First, let's go ahead and make a scatter plot of the lung capacity versus the age. For help producing a scatter plot, you can see my earlier video on producing scatter plots in R. We will use the plot command and plot age versus lung cap. We'll also give this plot a title and we'll call it scatter plot of lung cap verse age. I'm going to set the LAS argument equal to 1 to have the values on the y-axis rotated. Now let's calculate Pearson's correlation between the age and the lung capacity. To learn more about the COR command and calculating correlations in R, you can see my video on correlation in R. Now let's go ahead and add some text to this plot. We'll add some text showing the correlation between these two variables. We can add text using the TEX command. I'm going to set x equal to 5 and y equal to 11. These indicate the x and y coordinates to place the text at. We can use the label argument to type the text that we would like to have appearing in the plot. Here we're going to set r equal to 0.82 to have Pearson's correlation appear there. You can note that this text is centered at the x equals 5, y equals 11 coordinates specified. We can use the adj or adjustment argument to have the text start or end at these x, y coordinates. For example, if we set the adj argument equal to 0, we can see here that the text will start at x equals 5, y equals 11. Conversely, if we set the adj argument equal to 1, the text will finish at x equals 5, y equals 11. Now, let's reproduce this plot again. And this time, we'll add the text, setting the x coordinate to be 3.5, the y coordinate to be 13. We'll set the adjustment argument equal to 0 to have the text starting at these x, y coordinates and we'll have a label of r equals 0.82 to have Pearson's correlation appear on there. Let's talk about how we can change the size and the color of this text. I'm going to reproduce that plot. We'll put the text in the same location. Here if we set the CEX argument equal to 0.5, this will have the text appearing as 50% of the default size, and we can change the color using the COL argument. Here I'll set the color equal to 4 to have the color blue. We can also change the font that we'd like this to appear in using the font argument. I'm going to produce that plot and let's add that text. I'm going to set the CEX argument back to 1 to have it plotted at the default size and if we set the font argument equal to 4 this will produce bold and italicized font. Now we may want to do other things to enhance this plot. For example, we might like to add some lines to the plot and then label these. Let's go ahead and add a horizontal line at the value for the mean lung capacity. Here we'll use the AB line argument. If we set H equal to the mean of the lung capacity, this is going to produce a horizontal line at the Y value for the mean lung capacity. And I'll set the color argument equal to 2 to have this line red. We can make lines thicker or thinner using the LWD argument, which specifies the line width. Here I'll set the LWD argument equal to 2 to have the line width double the default size. And finally, we can add in some text to label this line as the mean lung capacity. Again, we'll use the text argument. I'll set the x coordinate to be 2.5 the y coordinate to be 8.5. We'll set the adjustment argument equal to 0 to have the text starting at these x, y coordinates. We'll set the label to be the mean 
lung cap. I'm going to set the CEX argument equal to 0.65 to have the text appearing at 65% of the default size. And we'll set the color argument equal to 2, to again to have the text appear in red. Now, let's discuss one final thing. We may want to add text into the margins of the plot rather than the body of the plot itself. We can do this using the mText command. So let's go ahead and reproduce that scatter plot. And now let's add some text into the margins. Here we can use the mText command to do so. We set the text argument equal to the text we would like to have appearing in our plot. Here we're going to use the r equals to 0.82 as we were using before. And we use the side argument to specify which margin this text should go in. Setting side equal to 1 will place the text on the bottom of the plot. If we set the side argument equal to 2, it places the text on the left side of the plot. Similarly, setting the side argument to 3 will place the text on the top, and setting it to 4 will place the text on the right. Also, as we saw before, we can use the ADJ or adjustment argument to specify where the text will align itself. Let's take a look at placing some text on the bottom again, and we can see if we set the adjustment argument equal to 1, this will place the text on the right side of the axis. If we set the adjustment argument equal to 0, the text will be placed on the left side of the axis. And we can use any value between 0 and 1 to specify where along the axis the text should be placed. For example, we set it to be 0.75, we can see that the text will appear 75% of the way to the right margin. Also, like we saw before, we can change the color, the font, and the size of the text using the col, font, and the cex argument. Let's take a look at that plot again. We're going to use the mText argument. Here, we'll place that same r equals to 0.82 in there. I'm going to set the side equal to 3 to have the text appearing on the top of the plot. We'll set the adjustment argument equal to 1 to have the text right aligned. We'll set the color argument equal to 4 to have the text as blue. I'll set the CEX argument equal to 1.25 to have the text appearing as 25% larger than the default size. And we'll set the font equal to 4 to have bold and italicized font. You can think of many different times you may want to add some text or annotations into a plot to illuminate certain things. These commands should help you in doing so. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.